With the DJI Mavic Air 2, there's a lot of possibilities. Let's take a look at it coming up. Hi everyone, Bill from Build a Drone Reviewer, where I make drone and drone related videos. If you're new here, welcome and consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night on Rotor Talk Live, Marcus Crawford, Ron Braun, and I discussed at length the DJI Mavic Air 2. We explored all the possibilities. Let's go ahead and roll that clip in its entirety. In, in a second, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the um, Mavic Air 2. Now, you know, this is probably going to be the next drone to come from DJI. All right. And, you know, and we'll, we'll actually, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Now, you know, Marcus, you had a Mavic Air, right? I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, one of the things, you know, I, I'm going to talk about some of the pain points of the original Mavic Air first for, for we talk about the two. Number one is, is, is it sounding like a freaking hornet's nest? Okay. I don't know anybody who doesn't say that it sounds like a hornet's nest and, you know, it's just, it's just, loud i mean it's, it's just in your face okay that was probably the first thing the second thing was the range of the mavic air all right now i did not experience and a lot of people experience some connectivity issues with the mavic air i know i did not in my testing i had it for two weeks i did not experience any connectivity issues with the mavic air how about you marcus no neither did i but let me add that i don't think i ever really flew it that far of the people that were talking about connection issues i i never i never took it out that far but the, it was an awesome piece of equipment took amazing video uh the the it had the full dji bag of tricks you know all the automated flight modes uh, etc the only downside i could say about that drone was, was the noise that was it i i love i love the thing and honestly the only reason that i that i sold it uh, was because the Mavic 2 came out. Okay. Uh, Bill, yeah. wasn't that the first uh, DJI drone to have a pass on it? Yes, that is it correct, was. Ron. That's a that's a very that's a very good point. And that was you know that was unheard of at this point on a consumer drone. Um, you know, ha having having that type of a system on it, and actually watching the video now when it premiered in January 2017, maybe I'm trying to rem trying to get the date right. I don't, I, it may have been 2018. Yeah, January 2018 when it appeared. Um, you know, I was mesmerized watching that video. I watched it several times over w watching that. And when I had had a chance to test that out, um, I set up two garbage cans out, out, in the, out in the front and I flew straight towards one and it leapfrogged over one. And I was, I flew to the other one and it went to the side on that one. And then it continued going. And that just blew my mind. I mean, it, it just was, you know, seeing how that system works and being able to test that and getting that was, was incredible. And I, one of the things that I really also liked about it was the size, the portability factor of that. That was, that, that was incredible. That, that really said a lot. And it also was DJI's first drone where they featured internal storage in there, eight gigabytes of internal storage. That's and true. If you, and if you remember, okay, um, and I posted a video because the original gentleman um, was asked to take his down, but he let, he let me copy it and, and repost it was um, they had actually, the drone that he got on the, in internal storage, they had, was recording and it was recording in the DJI factory. So it recorded about two or three minutes inside of one of the factories in Shenzhen where they were making the Mavic Air. So everybody was scrambling when they get their Mavic Airs to look on internal storage to see if there's anything in there. A lot of people did that at that point in time. So what can we expect from this new Mavic Air, the new Mavic Air 2? Um, I would say some of the things, we're gonna see a better camera, probably with an uh, umbrella processor, okay? Um, we're gonna see probably 360 degree obstacle avoidance, okay? Um, adding those sensors on there. I think that, that that's, a, that's an important thing. Um, you, mean, you mean just like the Mavic 2 series? Just like the Mavic 2 okay. series. Um, I think we're going to definitely see new motors and new ESCs. They're going to be quiet. It's going to be quieter. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a given. That's an absolute must on that drone. Um, 
you know, I think we're definitely going to see improved camera angle. I know because, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you would do the sport mode in the Mavic Air, it would kind of, it would, it would start to almost have a downward pitch to it when it, when it would do that. And a lot of times when you were shooting and, you know, and a lot of people say, you know, well, why, why are you filming video when you're in sport mode? I said, why not? You know, that's what, a, you know, my drone, you know, when I get a drone up in the air, I want to be able to record video no matter what mode I'm in. Okay. And, you know, it would have a tendency to do that. And I would say they're going to be working on, on trying to get that leveled out, especially in sport mode when, when you're doing something like that. Um, we're also going to see, I think, definitely a better battery life. Now, as far as, you know, the connectivity, you know, a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of questions already about this, and I wanted to get your guys' input. Um, you know, they're asking me if OcuSync 2.0 or a form of OcuSync is going to be on there. Um, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on that, and then, then I'll give you my opinion. Well, that'd be awesome, Bill, uh, if, if, if they did. But, but I will also say that if they can get Wi-Fi as good as what we've seen on the Mavic Mini, I, I think that would be sufficient. Mainly, what I would want to see is, just like you described, better battery life so you get a little bit longer flight time, uh, quieter, or, or just even change the tone, but hopefully quieter. And you know that they'll they'll be able to do that. Uh, and, uh, you know, 4K60, it'd be, it would be nice to have. Uh, 360 obstacle avoidance would be nice to have, uh, but I, I don't know that that is an absolute must. Uh, I, I would say that the biggest thing, and, and one of the commenters, uh, Scott Nadu was asking about price. I don't know what, what that's going to be, but I think price is important. It's going to need to hit that, I'm going to say under a thousand bucks, between eight and 900 bucks, and it will be a home run. If they, if they kick it up into the over a thousand, it's going to be a tougher sell. I agree. Uh, Go on. Mar Marcus makes a great point. Um, it, if, if they add OcuSync 2 to this drone and they bump the price up to $1199, $1299, um, and, it, and it pushes close to the price of the Mavic 2 series and the Mavic 3 series that'll be coming later on, um, that, that's probably not a good, uh, uh, it's probably not a good selling uh, strategy for them. So um, uh, back to Bill's original question, um, I think the biggest knock on the Mavic Air when it came out, of course, the, the quietness of the motors and props, and that'll be the easiest thing for them to fix. That, that'll be a guaranteed fix. That, that's an easy one. And, and probably the, the other two things were the, uh, you know, the battery life and the, uh, and the range. But people have to remember, um, any drone that's considered a Wi-Fi drone without a special um, transmission system like a OcuSync 2 or what, what are the, uh, a light bridge or whatever, you're not going to you're not going to get that, you know, five six miles or whatever. And if and I I don't think DJI wants to put it in this drone. If people that need that six miles of range, they want those people buying the Mavic Pro series of drones. Oh. They don't want them buying the, um, the well, well, we'll say tiers. We have, we have tiers now. The Mavic Mini's tier one, or, or if you want to do it backwards or whatever, tier three. Ma you know, the Mavic uh, Air is going to be, you know, tier two. And then, um, you know, the Pro Series will be tier three in the Mavic line. And they don't need the, the, the middle one having one of the keynote features of the top of the level, the, the Mavic Pro Series. So um, I, I'm going to say it doesn't just because, again, of the uh, uh, it's going to make the thing cost too much and it's going to intrude on the higher series. Now, I, I, I totally agree that the camera, uh, I mean, it's already good cameras. They don't have to do much improvement. Like Bill said, put the better processor and it already has 4K60. So you don't have to do a lot to make it um, the best camera in its kind of price range. And, and, you know, good enough that, you know, anybody that's not a professional, that the camera will be fine for them. So, but the battery life, and you know what? We talk about battery, but that's not that easy to improve. I bet you they don't get you more than five minutes extra. I bet you that's, that's the best without changing the body. I bet you the best they could do is give you another five minutes of flight time. But, um, hey, but I think the key thing is we got to keep that price point right because there's there's people moving up from the bottom. We talked about the Xeno 2. 
There could be a Phoebe X82 or whatever. And those those drones are ma- are somewhat matching the features, and they're coming up from the bottoms. They they can't they can't move that top end price too much, in, in my opinion. I mean, I know there's DJI loyals that won't buy anything else, but it's a lot of people that are shopping by price for features or whatever. So um that's my thoughts, Bill. What do you what do you, what what are yours? Okay, well, a couple of great comments. Um, I know Dan drone worship. It can get hot if you start boosting the signal. Absolutely. You can burn out a Wi-Fi card in a heartbeat with 24 dB or better. And he's right on that. Um, and that goes in line with a comment that Cliff had. Uh, OcuSync will need a, a cooling fan, too, and a bigger battery. So, um, you know, plus, um, you know, Marcus also brought up the point and good points, Dan, and good points, Cliff. Um, you know, the other part of this is, too, is it's also going to cost more. And Marcus brought that up and Ron brought that up as well, too. Um, you know, they want to keep this. And I think this is paramount. Of course, we have absolutely no idea on pricing on this drone and what final specs are going to be. But if they want this drone to do well and to sell well, this has to be $999 or less. I mean, I, I and I'm talking about with including a fly more kind of a kit, because in order to appeal to people, and, and like Ron said, too, is, you know, if you're looking to get, if you want more than three or four miles in range um, and, and everything, you need to step it up a tier. You need to step it up to the Mavic Pro type of ser- a series to expect to get something like that or even more. Um, they still have the Phantom 4 Pro V2.0 kind of kind of series. So I think that that I think that's where we're at. What we're hearing now is April or May kind of a time frame for this. So stay tuned. Um, you know, we get any more updates on this, I will definitely pass them on to you. Question of the day. What do you think the features will be on the new DJI Mavic Air 2? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly. So lucky to be your-